Okay, so you're probably asking yourself, why the hell am I reviewing this just out of the blue? Well, here's a little bit of an explanation before I start the review. So, my good buddy Kevin Falk has been, basically ever since we met, begging me to see this movie. He's, he loves this movie a lot, and he's wanted me to see it for a very, very long time. So, last night, I made a deal with him. If I watched the last five years and reviewed it on my channel today, then he's got to watch and review The Crow for his channel. Whichever day, it doesn't matter. But, still, nonetheless, he has to do that. So, I'm holding up my end of the bargain. I'm pretty sure he'll hold up his end of the bargain as well. So, that's why this review is just out of the blue here today. So, enjoy the review. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review the last five years. So, the last five years stars Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan, and what this film is basically about. You know, it's about these uh, two people named Kathy and Jamie, and you know, we see how you know they're basically falling in love with each other, and also at the same time falling out of love for each other and it's told in the perspective of a musical basically so what did I think of the last five years now like I said in the intro I my good buddy Kevin Falk has basically told me to watch this movie ever since we've met you know I've heard about the film um, even my good buddy Tony you know 22 Tiger Dude has even told me about the film and stuff like that so I've heard some things about this movie you know um and I was a bit intrigued by it, but I was in no rush to see it. But we made that deal last night, I watched it, so here we are today. And, <laughs> I'm really sorry to disappoint him on this, but, uh, I thought the movie was okay, I guess. It's, you know, it's not bad. There are some really good things that I did like about the film, but there are some other things that I really didn't like about the movie as well. It's kind of a mixed bag for me, honestly. It's just that I found it to be very forgettable, honestly. Like, almost instantly after we watched it, I kind of was already forgetting about the movie. It was just kind of like one of those movies where it's like, okay, I watched that. You know, alright, time to move on with the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Like, it was just kind of one of those movies. Personally, how I felt. And it was just kind of forgettable for me. I didn't really enjoy it all that much. But like I said, there are some things I did really like about this film. And I'm going to get into those first with my positives. And my positives are, first being, the acting. The acting is really solid in this movie. I thought everyone gave a really good performance. Anna Kendrick... This is like the best performance I think I've ever seen for her. She gives actually a really nice, powerful performance. I actually quite thought she was fantastic in this movie. She was writing really great in my opinion. I thought she really did a fantastic job in the film. Made me really care about her character at least. And I did think she did a really great job in the film. Uh, Jeremy Jordan, he was good too. I, I thought he did a pretty solid job in the film as well. You know, he had some really good scenes with him as well. I thought he did a pretty fantastic job, in my opinion. And, you know, um, he did a really good job, honestly. He was very good in the movie as well. So, yeah, the acting is pretty solid. Um, I want to say a good... It, here's the thing with me and the musical numbers. It's kind of 50-50. Uh, the good 50 part of it is that I thought a lot of them were really good. I did think, a, you know, for a good... 50% of them were really good, you know, I really did like them a lot, you know, and I will say that some of the musical numbers are actually very good, in my opinion, I did like them a lot, you know, I was like, okay, this is nice, this one's cool, okay, that one's cool too, you know, so there were some ones that I did think were really good in my opinion, I did quite like them a lot. Um, I thought there was chemistry between the two, between Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan, I thought they did have some good chemistry with each other and played off of each other really well. So I will say that I will give them major credit for that. I thought they did do a good job, you know, with their chemistry and stuff like that. I thought they were pretty good, honestly. Um, the writing is pretty solid, too. I thought the movie had some pretty good writing. The directing was really good with this movie, too. It's very well shot, very well edited. Cinematography is actually really good with this movie. There are actually some really 
good shots in this movie that I actually found really impressive. And I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. You know, so I will say that I did think, you know, the directing was pretty solid, honestly. And lastly, I want, you know, it's weird. Like, the two parts that I thought were absolutely fantastic with the film were, like, the beginning and, like, the last few minutes of the film. That's where I felt like the movie was really fantastic. Because, I'm not going to lie, when that opening happened, I was like, okay, I'm intrigued to see where this goes. And, you know, it kind of kind of doesn't really go anywhere for me. But, I will say, that opening was fantastic. I really love how it opened with that. And the ending was really good, too. I felt like, you know... It was really good. It's like the beginning and the ending were like the best parts of the movie for me. I thought each of them were really good, honestly. And, you know, it began very well and wrapped up very well. It's just everything in between, not so much for me. And that's what I'm about to get into because my negatives are... The story is not really that engaging for me, at least. I really didn't think so. Like, the story is really not that engaging honestly and as you can hear uh, but I really didn't think the story was that engaging for me honestly like I felt like it was just kind of generic and very very predictable honestly like it's kind of like I've seen this before and stuff like that like I could tell where this is going and stuff like that like I just didn't feel like the story was that engaging for me I think they could have done a little bit better with that in my opinion um, the, I felt like some of the other musical numbers were really, like, not bad, but they just weren't that great. Like, I didn't think they were that spectacular, that amazing, honestly. You know, but like I said, they were very 50-50 for me. But, uh, you know, a good 50% of them were really good. And the other 50% of them were just kind of, eh, I guess. You know, they were fine. Um, but, yeah, so there were some other musical numbers that I just thought were kind of just... Okay, whatever. Um, even though, like I said, I think the two lead actors have good chemistry with each other, I felt like they didn't really make me care, really, as much. I felt like the development was not as great as I would have hoped it for it to be. I just didn't feel like I cared enough. Honestly, if you know what I mean, like, I just feel like I didn't feel like I cared enough for these characters. To be honest, in terms of their relationship, they do have good chemistry with each other. Like, I feel like the two of them actually have some really good chemistry with each other. But I feel overall, in terms of development, I think I didn't really feel as really with the relationship with them as I would have hoped. To be honest, like, I think they just kind of do an okay job at it. For me, at least. You know, it just, I felt like they could have done a little bit better with it. You know, so that's just how I feel. Um, I felt like, so, I felt like the movie just, it, it moves at a really, really slow pace, honestly. For a movie that's an hour and 34 minutes, I was surprised at how slow it went. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it moved really, really slow in my opinion. I felt like they could have picked up the pace a little bit. Like, I was just like, come on, can we, can, can, can we kind of move it along a little bit? Like, I just felt like, for the most part, honestly, the pacing was really, really slow. Like... They just move at an abrupt, like, slow pace, to be honest with you. I just felt like the movie could have picked up a little bit at times, to be honest. I was like, uh, come on now. Like, so yeah, at times I did feel like the movie moved at a little bit of a slow pace, honestly. And just, I felt like it could have picked up at points for me. So, yeah, overall, the last five years, it's not a bad movie to be per se, um, but... Overall, I just didn't really think much of it, to be honest. It was just kind of just a forgettable movie, in my opinion. It was okay. You know, it, it's kind of just fine. It's alright. You know, it's one of those movies, like I said, that I watched. It's kind of like, alright. Okay. You know, I, I was instantly forgetting about it, honestly. Like, I really was. Like, almost after we were done watching it, I was just kind of like... <sighs> I'm, I'm, like, really, literally forgetting about this movie. But... Yeah, overall, the last five years is kind of just, eh, in my opinion, and I didn't really enjoy it that much. So aside from my official grade on the last five years, and my official grade on the last five years is a C+. Plus. It's fine, like I said, you know, it's not a bad movie by any means, but at the same time, I feel like just the movie could have been a little bit better, in my opinion. 
and they could have done a lot more, I felt like, and I just didn't think they executed it very well with the premise that they wanted to go with. So, but overall, it's just fine. It's a forgettable movie, in my opinion, and, you know, something I feel like I'm not going to remember. So, yeah, the last five years gets a C+. Plus. So, if you have seen the last five years, what did you think of it? Please leave in the comment section below. And I'm FilmFan0599, and we'll see you about later. Peace.